Hello YouTube, Primevo Ale here from Green Bay Outdoors, uh, coming to you with another uh, project. Uh, I decided to take my guide spit knife and redo the, the handle or the scales because I really wasn't happy with uh, what was supplied uh, straight from the packaging. Uh, the handles are a fiberglass and a plastic uh, infusion, which is great, it's very durable, uh, I can't bend it. But the problem is, is that uh, it is very hollow inside uh, and it just didn't feel right as far as the depth and width goes. It's very small and something like my hand. So uh, I decided to do, I want, I've been wanting to do this for a long time, but uh, I didn't have the proper wood uh, or material to create a new handle. Um, with the move, I have been lucky or blessed with a neighbor who had a maple tree that he was renovating around uh, providing a uh, concrete border and he had to do cut some roots off so I asked if I can you know take some of these roots uh, for the purpose of using to make uh, knife handles and this is what one of the pieces that was provided me uh, it's very nice wood very hard very durable and I'm very pleased with it so what I did is I took something like this and I made it into this. This handle is a little bit thicker. The scales are a little thicker than what was originally there. I was able to use the original uh, screw pins uh, for this. So I didn't have to use anything else or, or expend any uh, material other than what I had. Uh, and the video that's going to be following is how I made these scales start to finish from root to grinding down the scales to, to thickness to mounting to uh, uh, sanding and to finish so I'm really happy with this it's a very nice fit now in my hand in fact not only is it a good fit in my hand it is now a better fit in the sheath I had made for it which you should have seen in a prior video uh, in prior videos, the sheath I made with the original scales, it would shake and rattle, but this, nice and firm. So this, I think I'm going to uh, develop into a neck knife uh, in the unconventional sense as far as having to hang this way because uh, I don't have it this, uh, established to hang upside down. Alright, so continue watching. Unfortunately, I'm not sure how long the video is going to be. I have yet to edit it. So, thank you for watching. Enjoy.